Welcome everyone, my name is Jeff Smith, Product Manager for Oracle SQL Developer, and today I want to introduce everyone to a new project we're working on. It's called, at the moment, SQL CL. Think of it as SQL Developer meets SQL Plus. You can find this uh, technology available to download on our Oracle product page on the Oracle Technology Network. If you go to the 4.1 Early Adopter Downloads page, scroll down and have a look at this where it says the command line, the Eensy Weensy 11 megabyte download, that is what I'm talking about. So what is this thing? Well, if you know SQL Developer, you know that we can run queries interactively, get standard output, or get grids and point and click and do all the UI fancy GUI stuff. But all of the code behind the tool that takes care of what happens here in the script output, whether that be spooling or querying and setting formatting and line sizes and and that sort of thing, we've taken that code and factored that down into this. In this case what I've got is a uh, Windows program that's also available on Macs and of course also for uh, Linux and Unix since this is still Java. I have in the bin directory this program that I can run but I've also created a batch script to kick it off which I've called Jeff demo because I'm lazy which just fires off my connect string so I can connect into the database in a command line interface very similar to SQL plus and the connectivity supports TNS it also supports um, direct connect which you can see up here where I'm passing in the username leaving off the password so it's prompting me for the password the um, server address uh, the port and the service name so I'll just supply my password now I'm now logged in you can see what my setup is I can run host commands I can run queries we're not seeing anything fancy at this point so um, what's the idea here what are we trying to add or, or bring to the equation so uh, the SQL plus program itself apart from being updated to support um, newer database technologies hasn't really seen any significant user interface enhancements um, for quite some time whereas uh, SQL developer uh, has been working with we now have four million active users worldwide and they continuously provide feedback on the types of things they want to see and we thought well we have this uh, script engine uh, let's see if we can't take some of the features that people enjoy with the um, graphical user interface in SQL Developer and try to find an analog for that in the command line world so for example um, SQL Developer has a worksheet that makes editing fairly easy So uh, in a lot of uh, shell or terminal environments, um, tab is there for file name completion. And in SQL Developer, we have um, control space bar to invoke um, object name completion. Well, in here I can just hit tab. And it's all hr.em and not automatically resolved to hr employees, which it just selects to that one first. And I can now say enter and go to the third line and say something like where or I can say uh, fetch first 15 rows only and that'll run that so that's a little bit interesting I could also say set SQL format and see console say history so here's my SQL history so I have SQL history item 
uh, number 100. So I can say history 100. And run that again with the slash. And now it's formatted to fit on the screen much nicer. We're still experimenting with the, um, the fonts and the colors a bit to get this to show um, really nice across um, all of the three different operating systems. But the main thing here you can see is without any format um, commands, I, I have a pretty clean um, result set to look at now. Now if I want to edit that command instead of just um, rerunning it, I can say L again to say show me what's in the... Um, buffer and say edit to fetch it out back here into um, the editor I have set up on my machine. Most of you probably won't have it set up to notepad but probably um, visual VI or Emacs or whatever you've got going there. So I can say save, exit that, hit L again to show what's in the buffer run it again. Now I've got 150 lines back. Instead of um, using the um, history command, I could say uh, just up or down arrow to cycle through that command history. So um, now what I can do, which really gets fun, is I can actually arrow over and up to actually change the query instead of having to go to the editor. So instead of star from my table, now I want to say these three columns. And then I can actually come back down to this line, hit enter, and rerun that. So I think that's kind of cool. And again, we still have the formatting. Um, other formats that we support we'll just select all of them so there it is back in that um, CSV format now I've set the format to CSV so no matter what I do now it's going to come back in CSV even that which doesn't make sense and if I want to unset that I can just here. If you want an idea of the commands that we support, all you need to do is hit help, and the new commands are highlighted. So we have alias, apex, bridge, cd, ctas, ddl, format, history, and information. I've already shown you um, history. Let's look at info really quick. So think of info or information as a long form of describe. I'm going to type it out long ways, but I can of course use the four letter or less abbreviations like SQL Plus already supports. So information into our employees. So I get the column list, the data types, nullability, also default values and any um, column comments. Uh, below I would get table comments and we're also going to show in, um, indexes and constraints. Got a small bug here where the second bit of information, which are supposed to be constraints, is showing as indexes, but you get the idea there. So I can also, um, here's an interesting one CD, that sounds familiar, right? You can actually change. Um, the directory um, that we've launched from. So if you want to execute um, files from other directories than from the one that you launched SQL Plus from or um, launched this application from, you can now do that. So if you want more information or some more ideas of fun things you can do, the best place to go for the moment is to Chris Rice's blog, which is uh, chrisriceblogspot.com, and he's got a series of posts um, here's a good one. I'm using the alias command. The history things kind of spelled out in uh, more detail. And if you're interested in this um, uh, ANSI console format, uh, he's got that blogged as well. Thanks for your time. And one last thing to show. 
Got to give credit to the developers who've been working on this. So there's our little SQL Dev logo to let you know it is from us. And if you go onto our forums, you might see responses from these folks. Thanks, one, for your time, and uh, happy SQL Deving.